This is where we left off the last time. I've added some more stuff myself, but remember we made our little dashboard here? Let's dive in. Today we're going to talk about collections. Type forward slash collection and press enter. A collection is a database like you might be used to in Notion. It's not very fancy, but it gets the job of sorting your relations and columns done pretty well. Here you can create a new object, but before we do that, we need to consider that we will be adding a lot of customers. So why not make a template of type human? Then, whenever we add a new customer, we can just reuse that template. Click Library and look for the human object. Then, create a new template like I'm showing you. You can add date of birth, bank account details, whatever you need. Just type forward slash relation and create a new relation. The relations will show up in every template and can be easily filled out. Also, you will be able to sort your collection through your relations later. Your template is done. Go back to your collection and add your first object of type human. Any type will ask you what template you want to use. The relations you made are ready to be filled out here. Don't forget to give the object a title like I did just now. When you add options to the type and status, you can give them a color and they will show up in other templates as well, as you will see short after. I'll add two more human objects as customers to show you how fast it goes when you get the hang of it. Now for my last trick, press the plus icons to add relations to the columns. You can sort and filter by these relations after. Very neat.
I hope you like this video and please try it out for yourself. Any type is very easy to work with, but you have to know where to start, right? 